Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today at Riverside Park in Frazee. And what we're going to talk about here is Earth Day. This could be the most important year in environmental history since 1970, when the first Earth Day kicked off the modern environmental movement. Founded by U.S. Senator Gaylord Nelson of Wisconsin as a national teach-in, Earth Day continues to play a vital role with the government leaders. Members of Congress were encouraged to be in district to attend local Earth Day events. Civic engagement resulted in 42 states passing proclamations. Within months, President Richard M. Nixon directed the passage of the landmark Clean Air Act, Clean Water Act, Endangered Species Act, and many other groundbreaking environmental laws soon followed. These events are platforms for leaders to engage communities in conversations and challenges and opportunities related to sustainability. So we have also Earth Week to celebrate, which starts April 18th through the 27th. So as Mayor of Frazee, I hereby proclaim Earth Day 2015, which will be April 22nd, whereas the global community now faces extraordinary challenges such as global health issues, water and food shortages, and economic struggles, and whereas all people, regardless of race, gender, income, or geography, have a moral right to a healthy, sustainable environment with economic growth, and whereas it is understood that the citizens of the global community must step forward and take action to create green economy to combat the aforementioned global challenges, and whereas a green economy can be achieved on the individual level through educational efforts, public policy, and consumer activism campaigns, and whereas it is necessary to broaden and diversify this global movement to achieve maximum success, whereas Earth Day is the beginning of a new year for environmental stewardship commitments to implement sustainability efforts and count, commit to Earth Day resolutions. And furthermore, let it be known that the city of Frazee, Minnesota, hereby encourages its residents, businesses, and institutions to use Earth Day to celebrate the Earth and commit to building a sustainable and green economy. Now, therefore, it is resolved that the city of Frazee here pledges this Earth Day April 22nd, 2015, to support green economy initiatives in the city of Frazee and to encourage others to undertake similar actions. Signed by yours truly, Mayor Hank Ludke of Frazee. Enjoy and continue to observe Earth Day and Earth Week. And with that, we'll be back with another segment of Spotlight of Frazee. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today by the beautiful Otter Tail River State Water Trail. And we're looking at the fifth annual Otter Tail River Kayak Canoe Race here at Frazee, which will actually be held about seven miles upriver as the, as the water meanders. And this is sponsored by the Canoe and Kayak Club and the Frazee Area Community Club. This will be April 25th. And registration will be starting at 8 o'clock, the 25th. And the start of the race is located three miles north of Frazee on County Highway 29 at the Burlington Town Hall, which is Wanigan Road. You make a right, go about a mile and a quarter to the Wanigan Bridge, and you will see us. So I'm going to turn this over to Jason, who's the president of our club. And... He will fill you in on anything else. Thanks, Hank. Uh, right now, we're out on the Otter Tail River. This is the last section of the river. Uh, right when you come into the finish line, there's these few rapids. And these rapids that we just have come through here are just about as tough as it gets. It's really kind of a flat course. There's not a whole lot of rapids. It'd be class one if you're looking at the how you'd classify them. But uh, this is the finish, a couple little bends and then you're into the finish line and uh, the water level is looking okay I think as we continue to melt it'll get better yet but uh, it's going to be on Saturday 
April 25th, it's always the last weekend in April. And so uh, it's really geared to be a community event. It's not necessarily a race. It's kind of an opportunity to get out, enjoy the river. Uh, we look for a lot of community involvement in trying to promote the Otter Tail River and, and uh, something that goes right through the city of Frazee. Like Hank said, we start seven miles north, uh, three miles north on Highway 29. You take a right on the Wanigan Road. It's about one mile to the bridge. And there'll be help if you need help shuttling your canoe. Uh, registration will start at 8 in the morning that Saturday, and you can come and we'll transfer your canoe and give you a ride if you need it. Uh, again, it's just a time to come out. You can race. It is a timed event. There are some awards that will be given, but it's more of a fun community uh, event, and we hope to have a lot of people out. Um, again, it's not necessarily the, the race as much as it is coming out and enjoying it. Right now, if you're getting out and previewing, all the birds are starting to come back, and it's an amazing stretch here. There's a lot of nesting, swans, Canadian geese, many different kinds of ducks. And, and a lot of times you will see those, sometimes during the race, but more as you get out by yourself and kind of just let the river current take you like we're doing now, and you'll come up and see things. Just remember not, of course, to disturb the wildlife, but you can sure float by and, and get some really close up views like you would not normally if you're just standing on the shore um, or looking at looking something flying over or something. So uh, again, it's just a, a good time Saturday, August 20 or Saturday, April 25th, and it's twenty dollars per paddler. Uh, you bring your own canoe. Uh, life jackets are required, of course. You don't necessarily need to wear them, but you need to have them in the, the boat with you. Uh, also a current registration, uh, have your boat registered for 2015, and also uh, any invasive species uh, stuff as well, and we'll talk about that the day of the race, just being careful with that. But uh, again, it's a great community uh, event, and hope that you can come out on April 25th, this Saturday, last Saturday in April, and have a great time in a race format. So we'll see you at 10 on Saturday. Thank you.